So let's go ahead and look at the first data set. So this is where I download and unzip my data file. So what I have is a directory called data and within that we have a number of files. So there are, we need to load the file into R. By default there are two way to, um, two different ways to do this. Because when R is spawned up, and particularly through R Studio, what you have is what you have is a console to R Studio, and you can see the path on your console here. Um, sorry, I already let let me do this. When you first started your R Studio, the console starts at the tilde slash, which represents your home directory. If you are on a Windows machine, this is under C uh, colon slash user slash your username. Um, if you are under Linux or if you are under Linux or Mac, that would be either your home slash username directory or slash user uh, username directory. Um, you could specify a path to point to the location where you store the data. The easier way to do it within R is basically to set the root directory of this console to set it to that to the directory where you have the data um, directly. So in order to do that, what we can do is to type set wd tilted um, this is relative um, depending on your um, uh, platform so in my case being a windows I can go and so the R studio allow you to do tap so you can go and do this and keep tapping until it get to until you get to where you need to be. I hit it pretty far. Oops. So now you can see my console is here. C slash user slash. Uh, so with my co console is here, I can actually start reading in my data set. So again, I am inside the programming in our directory based on my set WD, set working directory path. So the data is under data slash file name. So I want inflammation 01.csv and I want header equal to false. So this is the content of my first of, of that file.
Um, when you are reading output file from R Studio, be mindful that the way R Studio display your data file kind of depend on the width of this window. So, for example, in this case, the number on the left side is not your data. The, num the number on this column is the index of all of the data line that you have. These are the column number. There is no header. You can see from the tag header equal to false. So this file contains no header line. So without a header line, the read CSV file automatically just use a numeric value and a character V. So basically this is variable one, variable two, variable three, and so on to name the column. There is actually how many? Thirty. There is actually thirty-two variable, thirty-two column within this data set, and because there is no spacing enough to display thirty-two columns um, at the same time, R Studio display the first seventeen and display the next uh, fifteen. So one through sixty, one through sixty. So this data file we have sixty row and 32 columns. Sorry, give me a second. I need to check. Basically, for the read CSV file, so again, the read.csv file is a function that takes in a file name, not just a file name, a path to a file name, and some additional argument, and it reads in all the data within that file. There are many more options for the read CSV file, and you can view that option by typing a question mark, read.csv and the result of this is going to be shown on the help tab of the lower right window. You can see many possible options that you can set in order to read in the data file. Let's go ahead and do the following. Um, go ahead and read in the data. Again, without specifying the header. And tell me what is the difference. And go ahead and put up the green. So 